You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cactus Jack! Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Few True Heels podcast. My name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. I'm Brian Bryman of Peacock. And I'm Jeremy the Coach Brooks. What's up, guys? It's been a while. It's been a long time. <laughs> you know. It's been like a couple weeks since we recorded one. Honestly, I have no clue. <laughs> you guys have been so busy. Too busy. You should right. record a podcast about all that. No, stop. Like, <laughs> if you really want one, it'll take like three days. Well, yeah. well, the way he tells stories, yeah. yeah. Well, it'll take like a month with Brian. Yeah. I'm, I'm, and I'm Brian working sit, on that stuff right now, actually. Brian can sit here and tell us a story that lasts three hours and it's about one topic. Yeah. I'm very <laughs> thorough. There's at least <laughs> two podcasts like that. It really is. Yeah. I want to make sure to get every detail. I had to get drunk at one of them. Yeah. <laughs> you did. It probably <laughs> helps. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine if we got him drunk? He'd probably talk faster. I'll talk probably. too fast. <laughs> like the cops would show up at the house like, what are you doing, boy? Nothing, massive. What? What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> you this were is talking fast. Be a fun show. No, it won't. Oh my god. Yeah, no, it won't. I'm about to tell you that. <laughs> no, yeah, it will. Hold on, Braun Strowman face Finn Balor. Yeah, sure. I missed that. Yeah, sure. What was that? Oh crap! I missed that. One. Well, that was probably the main event. Yeah, it was. Oh, I, I went to thing. sleep at like nine thirty. Yeah. Yesterday. No, it was Monday. Oh, uh, you know, I went to bed at like 8 o'clock yesterday. I wish I was in bed right now. Me too. Me too. But I had to wait for you to get drunk and you to get food. <laughs> I'm not drunk on buzz. Okay. Uh, since we all want to go to bed, you can find me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing we don't want to watch this match. Pause it for a second. No. Okay. No. Nope. We, got, we got a few topics here. I, I didn't even prep you guys on these topics. No. Nope. So they can get Better your that raw way. reaction. So yep. you can lay the smack down on these topics. Let's get down. Huh? Let's go. Let's go? Let's go. Where are we going? Where are we talking about? The Smackdown <laughs> Hotel. Hopefully we're going to Smackdown. That Maybe. would be fun. We'll see. Maybe. Yeah, it'll happen. We just got to see what we'll, we'll see what events are going on that day. <laughs> I'll probably have a LARP event. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hope not. I, hope, I don't know. LARP's uh, On a Tuesday? Hey, you never know. It's just getting crazy. <laughs> Not that damn crazy. It's getting there. Good night. Alright, well, speaking of getting crazy, supposedly the pay-per-views are all going to be four hours long. And long WrestleMania, long SummerSlam, the big four are going to be even longer. I don't know, three hours? What, but WrestleMania is what, seven hours? I'm putting in my two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest okay. Royal Rumble was five. I can't do this anymore. That was five? <laughs> yeah. That's not like it was eight. <laughs> yeah. It felt like it was eight. That shit took forever, man. I still haven't watched it. Don't. <laughs> Just watch the Rumble part. Oh, my God. Yeah. Basically, all you that. see is what you saw at WrestleMania. Yeah. That's basically it. Except for Brock Lesnar. What is it? Brock Lesnar and uh, Roman. Now, which one got disqualified? Was it AJ Styles? Oh, Shinsuke. Yeah, it was AJ and Shinsuke, yeah. That's yeah. why I got this qualification. And so according to this, even the original, the big four, rarely lasted three hours long. So? We already got the seven-hour extravaganza called WrestleMania. Yeah. So are the pay-per-views going to be like one a month? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's already happened. Yeah, they're taking some away, but then they're making the actual ones longer. Which I guess I'm okay with. I wish they'd go back to like the old names like Backlash or like No Way Out. Yeah, Stuff I might. Like that. That was, them, them names are pretty cool. They had a meaning to it. Yeah. You know, some of the matches actually resemble that No Way Out, you know, logo and shit. Yeah, they usually had like cage matches at No Way yeah, Out. Yeah, like, what the fuck is the fast thing when getting in the car? Rum, rum. Yeah, some of the new names, Grey Balls of Fire. It's like, <laughs> that no that was a one time event. I hope it was a one time event. I don't think they're ever going to do that again because of Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically because we spent an hour bashing that podcast. They, that, heard, Brian, that they heard Brian preview. Boys and say, we can't do it no more. Yeah. Brian Man Peacock won't kick our ass. <laughs> I like like I even like the aesthetic of Great Balls of Fire, like that throwback kind of thing. Oh, I, well, like name it anything else. <laughs> when I, when it, when we first heard that and I saw Brian face, 
Then I saw that logo. I'm like, this is I think he also put in his two weeks notice then. I think he did. He just got his job back. We didn't let him go. <laughs> that, that logo was retarded. Oh, one of the balls? It was two balls. And a shaft? Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. So it was like Stephen the man was thinking about Hunter Hearst Hemsley. While Vance was it would have been that. much, much funnier if it was in the 90s. I yeah. agree. Like, they had great that balls of like fire. something back to attitude. Then there. we would yeah. be saying, like, remember when they did great balls of fire? Yeah, it was like... <laughs> it would have been funny. That would was just like, our dumb. childhood was awesome. No, it's like, can you believe these fuckers are doing great <laughs> balls of fire? Like, this generation, you're going to put great balls of fire? Speaking of attitude era, I was talking to Lance about this earlier. Mm-hmm. I saw a clip the other day of, like, every time the Undertaker tried to kill mankind. And one of the clips was, you know, up... Turnbuckle doing the ten punches. Right. But, oh my god, he was, like, clubbing him with the side of his fucking forearm. Mm-hmm. It looked ridiculous. <laughs> Dude, if you look at all the old school wrestling, like, the Attitude Era, this shot right here to the forearm was, like, legit. They they hit hard with their forearm and they hit their fist. And that was, like, number nine of him... Just clubbing the fuck out of him. <laughs> Kim Shamrock, when Ken Shamrock selling your back and was four on me right now, that shit fucking hurt for real. So I think he ain't do it that much. Certain, he did it to certain people. He ain't do it all the time. Right. That, that, that move was fucking out breaking shit. Hell no. No thanks. But that's why the attitude era was the best era. No competition to this shit right now. Okay. You got two hours of nonstop action. Oh shit! Who was that? What? Who else? That was, was that TNA. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Did you just have an epiphany? Like you didn't realize that's what that was? It just popped me like, don't ever support TNA. <laughs> oh, we might have to. They're free to get in, so I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's true. Oh yeah. Why don't we just go to a TNA show? We're talking right about. Shit, man. We're like, oh, ticket to this place or ticket to that, but fucking TNA is free. It's free, <laughs> and we go to Harry Potter land. Good. Oh, no. That's not free. <laughs> I, I can go to Harry Potter Land. I got passes. We already there. <laughs> Shit, go get some Butterbeer. The Frozen, not the Unfrozen. I am a Slytherin. You are officially a Slytherin. I'm officially a Ravenclaw. My venom is so potent it'll make a damn cow say, Woo! Alright, nerds. Do you so, remember the, uh, oh the it's a football thing and a wrestling thing. Okay. I don't know who the football player was. But it was a locker room thing. The Gary Two claps and Ric Flair. I do that. Yeah? I do it with my team. I love that. Like, I get them pumped up, say some stupid shit, make them feel like they can go through a wall. Yeah. Like, Y'all gonna give me a two claps and a motherfucking Ric Flair. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> we, gotta be doing, we gotta do something like that at, uh, this weekend. August 17th through the 22nd, Impact will be back in Orlando. Oh, they still going on tours? The 17th, it's a Thursday... But it's Destination X. Oh, Ain't that cool. pay per view? Yeah. Uh, Low key versus Alberto, Alberto El Patron. Trevor if Lee he versus, shows up. Yeah. Tre- <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor Lee versus Sanjay Dutt. Uh, Ishimori versus Desmond Xavier. Matt Seidel versus Lashley. Who? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Is he back um, already? The fuck? Hold on. God damn it, TNA. You gotta be somebody else named Lashley. Like his brother or sister. <laughs> he just got another guy. It's his brother. Just call him Just Lashley. We won't call you Black Lashley. I mean... Oh, this is August 17, 2017. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Why is this the top thing on their website? Uh... That's the last time the website was updated. <laughs> what? Oh. oh, that's weird. Listen, every time I give these motherfuckers a shot. <laughs> Why? We're trying. We're trying. We are. I okay. get those. Uh, let's see. They're going to be in Ontario. That doesn't help us. Ontario. anniversary. I didn't know they still tour. Yeah, oh, apparently. Yeah. Oh. I guess somebody will pay $10 to go watch that shit. Yeah, I don't know when they're back in Orlando. I don't think they know when they're back in Orlando. 
God damn. Alright, well, back to fuck you, TNA. <laughs> <laughs> so, some more a little bit of news here. Uh, Ricky Knight, which that's Paige's dad, right? I don't know. Yeah, general manager for the fam- Knight family owned, yeah. Something to do with Paige's family. Uh, apparently he's talking shit to Scott Hall, and oh, Scott God. Hall wants to get in the ring with him. Scott Hall back on the bottle. I mean, he's healthy again. He looks good, actually. He does. He looks good. He probably looks better than like Hulk Hogan wants to get back, back in the ring. Crash with DDP if DDP actually did that to him. Good job, DDP. Yeah, he did. Have you seen the documentary? Yeah, I've seen that. <sighs> wow. It's like, I, I love that. Like, I haven't watched the Andre one yet. I haven't seen that one either. I have to get emotionally ready for it. <laughs> the way Brian it's said it was. good. It's so I want to cry. The last time I cried from a WWE thing, I, it was the Ultimate Warrior documentary. Yeah. This one will do it. I cried after that one because, you know, I love Ultimate Warrior. <sighs> yeah. And, like, we just saw him on Monday, and the motherfucker shot his last shoot that night and died the next day. That's some sad shit. Yeah. Uh, like the only person that's gonna make me cry even worse is Ron Simmons when he passed away. But he oh yeah, because he's a legend. Yep. Then another dude that looks healthy as hell though, Ron Simmons. He stays in shape. Apparently, he stays in shape. So I, I hope you know, you know. I hope nothing happens to no wrestlers from back then. You know, because they're the reason why we still got the shit we got now. You know, I just I wish we keep them all alive. I read a story the other day about Big Show. Uh, he got injured. That's why he hasn't been around. They did an x-ray of his hip, and it had holes in the bone from where it had Ooh. rubbed. So it's not... <laughs> it, I hate to say this, but I think it's time to get ready to come up. He's close, yeah. He's gonna, he'll probably be around a little longer, put yeah. some guys over. Yeah, I think he's going to hang it up. Yeah. Close. He got that same shit under the giant guy. Yeah, yeah, well, it's called? way uh, gigantism. Yeah. It's way more manageable now. Well, it is. And he's doing a very good job. He's super like, healthy. You, he got abs. Yeah. It's like, that dude's 7 foot 11, whoever he is, 7 11. <laughs> good hot dogs. And he got freaking <laughs> abs. Well, <she's>... <laughs> so, the, in the story, I guess they, I don't know what they did. They did something to his bone. They didn't replace it, but they did some kind of surgery not surgery even, but I think they just kind of repaired the bone, and he got an infection in it. Uh-huh. So he had to have an IV put into his heart directly, because if they could put it in his veins, it would burn out his all his veins. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, what Jeez. the fuck? So, and they told him, you cannot work out. Cannot. Mm-hmm. And he basically said, well, fuck that. <laughs> it's in my left arm. Or, you know, somewhere near his left arm. I work out with my right arm. <laughs> so, motherfucker gets a dumbbell and does a couple of reps. And a, he had an Apple Watch on. And his heart rate was, like, super fucking high. Like, heart attack level high. Shit. Within just a few reps. <laughs> <laughs> and went, well, oh, I guess that's why I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, that that's wild that you have know, ho- holes in your bone. That is ridiculous. It sounds painful. Yeah. So we also found out, or at least Mario Ronaldo has set the record straight why he left WWE the first time. And apparently it was because he was doing the uh, boxing, he was doing MMA, he was doing WWE, and it was just way too much for him, and he had a mental breakdown and decided to leave WWE for a while. You know what, you piece of making son of a bitch... He need, what is it, Italian? Ah, sounds like it. I would imagine. He's Italian for the night. He need to stay in WWE because he is the next Jim Ross and Jerry King Lover. That Both voice time. alone made me want to watch fucking SmackDown before Dan Bryan took over. His voice, it was magical. Mamma mia! It's like Super Mario Bros. Fucking yeah. amazing. So yeah, he's Italian. <laughs> yeah. yeah, as he was talking to, on an MMA podcast, like Arya Hawani or something like that. Yeah, he oh, did yeah, all yeah, that yeah. Stuff. obviously. Yeah, he's still doing it. And NXT, ain't he? Yeah, that's I why. Because I think because he's central in NXT, like right. he doesn't have to go all over the place. 
So he can still do all the other things. Oh, okay. Hey, I didn't know he did boxing and stuff. That's pretty cool. Speaking of MMA, uh, CM Punk's going to be a UFC, I think, 225. He will be back in WWE in two years. Do we know who he's fighting? He is fighting another guy who lost to Mickey Gall. CM Punk's going to get his ass kicked. This guy, I guess, is like a photographer (laughs) who started doing (laughs) MMA. Also, he's going to take pictures of CM Punk getting his ass kicked. I... And you know, crazy. I know you're a big Joe Rogan fan. Who? <laughs> Joe Rogan. You know that motherfucker called me the other day? <laughs> I, I, he said, what are you I said, yo. He said, is this Jeremy Brooks? I said, who? Is this Jeremy the Coach Brooks? I'm like, yeah, motherfucker. Who is this? This is Joe Rogan. I said, Joe Fogan? He said, Joe Rogan. I said, what, spaghetti sauce? He said, no, motherfucker. Let me tell you something. I said, let me tell you something, you pussy ass bitch. I'm the, you the ball headed motherfucker that I'm going to stick my fingers in and throw your fucking head down the goddamn bowling alley if you don't leave me the fuck alone. I'm trying to watch Paw Patrol. He said, <laughs> my apologies. And he hung up. <laughs> oh, I'm going to try my damnedest to animate that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck Joe Rogan. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's my buddy. I don't even know. I love oh, you, Joe. Don't come to my house threaten to beat my grandma so I'll kill you, boy. <laughs> if we... <laughs> and that's the show. We can't talk about it. <laughs> How are we supposed to follow that? Sorry. That's so, <laughs> Joe Rogan and... <laughs> uh, I don't think anyone cares. We're no. rewinding to listen to that again. <laughs> Alright, go back one more time. <sighs> And listen to it. <laughs> All right, now listen to us now. Okay. You go back later. <laughs> go back later. Yeah. Right, I'll, I'll I'll set I'll skip I'll wow I'll take that bit of the podcast out and make it its own little thing like Lance's freak out. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Joe Rogan and I feel like he's made a good point. CM Punk and this other guy, uh, they're gonna open the UFC pay per view. Why? Like why aren't they because doing they amateur fights? Yeah, but there's amateur guys who are much, much better than them and much more deserving. Uh-huh. But well, I, I don't watch the MMA, so I don't know about I don't either. Saying, you know? But I, I, I listen to Joe show. Rogan. Oh, okay. I ain't really do amateur. It's like the Raw pre show. Oh, yeah. Like they have, pre-show they have basically indie MMA. Okay. Yeah, and it's expensive. Really? You ever tried to go to one of those shows? No. I went to a show in Tampa and it cost me like 170 bucks. Yeah, they are crazy expensive. Can't it wasn't, even, it wasn't even a top promotion. It was right. Like a, a, you know, like a Tampa Bay promotion. I believe it. I mean, people mm-hmm. love that stuff. I hate it. I'll ask because, you know, a dude like the elephant man at the end of the fucking match. I think it was like $35 a person when they were, because they had it up at the mall. Yep. We, had a, we have oh, a couple of schools around here. I remember that. They yeah. Were, at Belks, the old Belk building. Yeah. Oh, yeah was, I'm sorry, Buick. Whatever it was, was it was like it was really expensive. That was like what two years ago, a year ago. Yeah, it was gonna be over a hundred dollars for us to go. I, I knew I someone that. that was in it. I don't remember. Yeah, I, I know a they, couple people. I had a kid I used to coach that was in it. Um, Scala Hastings, someone like that. I think that's. I think I shouldn't that one. drop names. <laughs> uh, no, that's, that's, that's right. name. That's the name of a skateboard. Okay. No, do you you remember when we were in the wrestling school? Yeah. And uh, the one. The one trainer was also teaching MMA at the other school. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was training a couple guys we went to high school with. Uh, everybody knew that shit, man. That's why what it was. It was just somebody I knew from high school. Yeah. If, if we would have went, we knew everybody in that shit. Oh, I'm sure. Because everybody we knew already. I would go to one. I just don't want to spend that much money no more. Yeah. yeah so expensive. I, Especially I for something where you can go and match. Like the one I went to, it was at it, what was was called before the St. St. Pete Towns Forum. Mm-hmm. Where the lightning play at and all that. And that cost that cost an arm and a leg. And it's like you these cats are only known in Tampa Bay area. Yeah. Can like, you imagine going to a UFC pay per view? I know, right? <laughs> like, actually UFC was in Orlando. Yeah. They they, they did the pay per view in Orlando and like they talk about coming back to Orlando because it was a pretty good draw. Oh, I'm sure. And it's like Orlando is starting to be that kind of city where they start to host more Host a lot of stuff like that. Good. They already got a bid for WrestleMania again. Yeah. Tampa got one too. I think Tampa will get it before Orlando will. I don't. Know. They've never been to they Tampa. Don't. I know. Ever? Then WrestleMania has never been to Tampa. They've been to Orlando twice, but they've never been to Tampa. And Tampa was the hotbed for wrestling back in the day. So that's shocking. Hmm. Tampa has host Super Bowls, World Series, 
I think the goddamn boat was there. But it never hosted WrestleMania. Because I'm the freaking boat. So yeah, right, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't I don't see it going to Tampa. Why not? They shit, they had a national championship, a Super Bowl, motocross, probably yeah. Disney on ice. At the damn stadium. Well, isn't yeah, there Disney arena outdated or everywhere. something? Ramon James Stadium? Yeah. Hell no, they renovated it. Did they? Okay. Yeah. They renovated the shit. That's why the national championship was there this year. Okay. Because they renovated it. So, I think they would get in WrestleMania. Possible. Why, you know, I don't care. I didn't want to be in Florida. <laughs> it's going to be back in Florida regardless. Yeah. Like, I don't think they'll go back to Miami because Miami, the stadium they went to before, their roof kind of enclosed in now. Ah. So, and they took seats away. Huh. To make, you know, put screens in. Yeah. So the tennis would go down on that. Because WrestleMania was the last time, WrestleMania was the biggest crowd in that stadium before they renovated it. And all that. But they was, no, they ain't been in Jacksonville. That's Super Bowl. They only been to Orlando in you know, Miami. Yeah, that sounds right. They ain't never been to Tampa. So I think Tampa is, it's time for them to come. Because they, what, New York this year? Yes. They don't, They have to go to Atlanta because they got a new stadium in Atlanta. Yeah, I keep hearing that. They, I, I guarantee they will be in Minnesota because Minnesota got a brand new indoor stadium. It's heated. It's inside. Hmm. You know why not? It's wrestling. Yep. What? Who's uh the mayor of Minnesota or Minneapolis? The Bonnet Jesse Ventura. Oh, oh yeah. Not anymore. No, he ain't there no more. I don't think so. That was like oh, a long shit. time ago. It's <laughs> <laughs> not like a lifetime thing. <laughs> I thought he, I thought he made it back in. Maybe I don't know. No wonder Vikings was good. He took, he fucking was in office no more. Good job, Minnesota. Fuck Damn. You want to know something really neat? What? Eddie Guerrero is the last person to pin Brock Lesnar for a WWE Championship. What? Are you serious? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wow. Hold on, say that one more time. That's probably why Brock spins like eight years away from the damn ring. Eddie Guerrero is still the last person to pin Brock Lesnar for a WWE championship. He didn't want to get Guerrero. So he Seth pinned Roman. That's a very good point. That's <laughs> WrestleMania San Francisco. <laughs> and one of my favorite WrestleMania moments ever. Seth Rollins coming out. You know out what? When that, that happened, I was kind of like yay and nay. No, I loved it. Because here's why. That wasn't a bad match. No, it wasn't. It really didn't all of a sudden, boom. He just comes out and, like, ruins it. No, we didn't ruin it. I thought, you know, I didn't want to see another match out on two. I want that one, that was it. Then they kept on shoving it down throats. I wish they, I don't know. I'm happy for, I like Seth. But that was, that match right there was probably the best match Roman and, uh, what's the dude's name? Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Fuck everybody. Eddie and Brock? Man, I wish Eddie was still around. Yeah, that's true, because Brock pinned the rock. That's yeah, something like that in, uh, in uh, Long Island for the championship. Yeah. I thought I forgot. I thought the rock being on uh, He beat the rock. Yeah. Damn, that is true. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to die. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what do you think happened to Eddie? Shut up, dude. <laughs> he got F5. He got F died. No, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. You want to. Hey, I had nothing to do with that. <sighs> do I need to damn that out? <laughs> no, you be alright. Oh, my God. So, did you guys see uh, who showed up on NXT to challenge Undisputed Era? Nope. I think it was at a house show as well. Uh, it was uh, The Rival. Fuck The Rival. Who? The Revival. Who the fuck is that? Scott Who's Dawson and Dash Wilder. Fuck them. Fuck How do you not revival. love the Rednecks? They ain't Rednecks. They are very much Rednecks. They ain't no Rednecks. Oh, the Bushwhackers are Rednecks. They don't even do flips. No All flips, they have are just fists. fists. Hey. All they have are fists. Hey, let me tell you something. The Bushwhackers were Rednecks. Were they Australian? Still redneck. Well, yeah, but <laughs> but still, the you guys are about as redneck as you get. As the Rabat was the kind of guy that wears short shorts and a polo shirt to a barbecue. I forgot what they call them over there. I think they have a word for them. Rednecks. Yeah. Australians. No. <laughs> Who are you talking about? Uh, let me see if I can Google it. Oh, now, actually, geez. you know what? 
The Revival was old school. I watched yes, it Yes, I love the Revival. I, 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 I like the old school kind of thing. Say girl. But they need to shut up in this wrestle. What? That sounds stupid. Who? The Revival. They don't talk that much. They talk enough to make me say shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> they showed up and they challenged the Undisputed Era. Apparently, they had a, I think they had a killer match. Or they're going to have a killer match. Anyways, people were very, very upset about this. Because the Revival haven't done shit on the main roster. And they're upset that they got pushed back to NXT. Did it really? Bogan. For, really? The term for, in Australia is Bogan. You're a Bogan. The fuck is a Bogan? That's a redneck in Australia. Oh, I respect that. Thank you. <laughs> I got called on Uncle Tom today. I'm like, thank you, George Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Huh? I didn't, I didn't Gate. <laughs> what? Rain your show in. <laughs> your show is spiraling <laughs> out of control. Brooks, focus. <laughs> All right, focus. Gotta hang on. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we're going. <laughs> we we you can all over the fucking place tonight. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just tired. Oh, we're all tired. I still gotta edit this podcast. I don't wanna hear shit. So I gotta work in the morning. I gotta lift shit. I gotta get yelled at in the morning. Because I work for the people I work for. Hey. So, do you guys think it's a bad thing that they ended up back on NXT, even if it's just for a night? I didn't know he was back on NXT. Is there such thing as getting demoted to NXT, though? Drew McIntyre uh, did. Yeah, he's back on the main roster. Yeah. I'm so, sure you're making substantially less money. You think so? I think so, yeah. I think it's the same thing. I think thing. the NXT guys make pretty good money. I think it's I'm not saying it's not good money. I'm just saying uh, being on a show that's only on their network as compared to being a on a show that's on... But they're not on the show that's on TV. They weren't being used. So fuck it. Take these super talented guys and put them back on NXT. Right. Because who are the big tag teams right now? I guess there's enough. So, b- before we continue, do you have for stories to talk about the Sami Zayn segment that apparently was a giant trash fire? No, I didn't watch it. I don't know what that was about, but apparently it was terrible. We could watch it real quick. I don't need to watch it. Okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, people were upset saying that the Revival got demoted and all these things. And I think Scott Dawson went on Twitter and was like, Hey, don't be upset for us. It's not a bad thing. And I'm not sure exactly what he... Oh, okay. He said, Guys, I get to live my dream. I travel around the world. I'm able to take care of my family and give them a life I never had. And on top of all that, we got to tear the house down last night. Why would I be upset? So... And there's a lot of people saying that this is just a bullshit PR answer. That they they must be unhappy that they had to go back to NXT and. Okay. I I think I I think Scott Dawson's being legit. He is happy to just be working, to be working for the WWE. And yeah. Like, I don't know. He's got I a job. Like At the end of the day, he's wrestling at for WWE. Career. Yeah. He's making money. And if I, I got to imagine they went to the what, Dawson and Dash and said, "Hey, we need you to go to NXT and face fucking Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, or Roderick Strong and Adam Cole, whatever combination of the freaking Undisputed Era." I don't think they had a problem with that. <laughs> like, Probably not. I can't imagine they have a problem but with like, that. Playing dev- devil's advocate, you went through the. The struggles and shit through NXT to get to the main roster, and you finally made it, and you think you're on the shot as a tag team title, but all of a sudden, boom, you get shit on. When that, like, do you get shit on though? <sighs> like if, I feel like you just get switched from chocolate to vanilla, not from chocolate to shit. Well, yeah, but some people like chocolate more than they like vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like some people know, like vanilla more than they like chocolate. Some people don't like shit, like you know. But anyway, it's like. If I did pay my dues, what? What? God damn it, Brian. If I paid my dues and made it to the main roster, I don't want to fucking go back where but I was But did they before. make it to the main roster? They've been on one show and it, it was, hasn't been used since? They've been on plenty of shows. 
I will say. I think they was on the wrong show though. Maybe. They should have been on SmackDown, not Raw. They fit more on SmackDown. I think they are on SmackDown. Were they on SmackDown? I think so. I thought it was on Raw. Uh, but it doesn't say. I swear they was on Raw. Like, if they was on Raw, they should have been on SmackDown. SmackDown kind of fits their kind of style. Yeah. That's why Gallows and Anderson went to SmackDown. SmackDown fits them. And plus, I think the tag team division better than SmackDown anyway. And apparently Tyler Breeze the NXT show last week, too. I think they, he just need a, a redo. Yeah, some guys, like, like I said this on, I think on Reddit or Facebook or something, at least they're not the Ascension. Like, Are that still is... There? They're still on SmackDown. They, they, need to, they need to go somewhere else. I like the Ascension. I love the Ascension. I think they're I, one of the I best tag teams so in WWE. Them, I don't it's, understand what the hell's happening there. Like, if they can make the Bludgeon Brothers, they can revamp the Ascension. Yeah. I think the Ascension would be an awesome opponent for the Bludgeon Brothers, too. But nobody's going to take them serious, though. Like, they doing skits with... What's it? What's the, the Fandango police? Yeah, the Fashion Police. The Tyler Breeze and Fondango. They doing skits with them. Yeah. It's like, that's the lowest of the lowest. I mean, and, like, those segments are entertaining. I don't think they are. I think they're pretty funny. It's like... You like the Fashion Police, don't you? Oh, I love them. I think they're hilarious. I, I think it's a joke because I know those two wrestlers can be, they can main event uh, an event. But now you got them talking about people shit. I think that's a joke. Tom Breeze is a hell of a fucking athlete. Yeah, he is. And you got him talking about somebody, I was about to say Gar. You got him talking about somebody freaking tights and stuff. I mean, Tyler Breeze is another guy that we saw like super early in NXT. I would really and like to see him. Shit, Fandango beat Chris Jericho at WrestleMania in New York. I kind of remember running not buying the Tyler Breeze action figure when I saw it. Yeah? Yeah, it was pretty cool. There's some guys that like... Oh, you know what we haven't talked about is our NXT show. We went to NXT We may show. have gone to a couple. Actually, Oh, we yeah, you went to like a weekend of them. <laughs> I refuse to talk about the recent one. Well, the one I went to? Yep. What's wrong with that one? Because my boy lost. Marcellus. Is that his name? Marcellus. Okay, no, seriously, though, Marcellus. you need to talk about this guy. Tell the internet about him. Marcellus, he's the Remember, kind of... you're telling the entire internet about this. Can I talk? Sell him. I just wanted... I'm about to sell so, him like a goddamn do beef it. jerky in a goddamn store in Africa. Tell the people why the mat Tell is him. sacred. The reason why the mat is sacred because greatness is wrestling on it. This dude, to me, can be the next Cesaro. He's good on the mic. His mat skills are good. They're going to get only better. He's young. He, he, he got the frame to be somebody special. Look at the motherfucker. He's German. I love this dude. Like, when you walk, when he walks through that curtain and you look at him, it's like, I fucking hate this dude. I can't, I love him. No gay shit. I love this dude. <laughs> It's like his cockiness reminds me of Cesaro. He was well, like you. He came out and I was like this fucking guy. And then like I think you had said that. We're like, oh, this is that guy you like. Okay, yeah. You just walk around the ring like he got like his he arm behind his back, it. his hand up like he wants some crumpets and tea <laughs> and stuff. And he would demand respect. He got mine. And the big guy he was with, I, I don't know who catch the fuck his that name. Was. I don't know who but the, I've seen him a handful of times. Yeah, we've seen him before, but they made a good pair. Yeah. I well, think, but yeah. Marcellus is a, a singles wrestler. I, mean, he, yeah. I, don't like, I don't like him. You don't like him with like a bodyguard or something? Nah. He need to, if I would be his bodyguard. Imagine that. You know what I mean? It'd be pretty cool. I would be, I would still shut him up. I mean, look he here. might be listening. And Marcellus, if you're listening, look. I love you, man. You, you're going to be... You're the next big thing in NXT. They ain't going to take... What the hell are you laughing at, bro? Don't laugh at greatness. Greatness no, will come and slap you just, in the fucking face, son. I just... He knows how it's done in the hood. Because he been in the hood. He conquered the hood. I think... When you yelled at him, that's how we do it in the hood. 
I think he was legitimately as confused as he's <laughs> ever been in a wrestling ring. Oh, before. that was the Chris River show. Yeah, I yelled so much shit that Chris River show. I think he yelled at me to shut up in German. So, I think I went home and looked it, it up. It's, it's possible. I've been yelled at before. But you know what though? I comment. I made a comment to him on Twitter. He liked it and retweeted. He knows who Jeremy Brooks is. There you go. He knows who I am. Every there time I get... retweet him, every time I put his name or something, he likes it and retweets it. They got beat by the Street Profits? Yeah, some rundown DMC freaking. Rundown DMC! What I call is that the name of the episode? <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it. Oh my you God. God damn it. They're like freaking crime time with like babies. Uh, oh my god, time. I actually time. really like the Street times. Profits. <laughs> Misdemeanor for time. <laughs> well, we ain't fellas yet. We ain't, we ain't hit puberty. We ain't baby con. Run Down DMC is the, name of the, the new name of the podcast. <laughs> I don't know where the hell they come from, be honest with you. It's like, they came out, it's like, what the fuck is this? They don't Street Profits are good. They was entertaining. Yeah. I'll give them they was entertaining, but they faced my boy. And entertainment went out the freaking window, back into the back. Never mind. Either way, Either way, I was upset that my boy lost that tag team match. But the Chris River show, he kicked that. What's that dude name, Brian? That he fixed in Chris River? Oh. The one that got Hardy's pants. Oh, uh, Jay Sun. Yeah, he made oh, Jay okay. Sun look like Jay ass kicking. I guess it, the first time I saw Jay Sun, he had a, uh, a red jacket on, and on the back of it, it said made in China. That is that's pretty cool. Okay. From that point on, I was like, yeah, this guy. Was that match good? Because when I saw him, it was like, okay. It was good. Actually, yeah. that match against him ourselves was pretty good. Yeah, it was good. But you know who won? Greatness. Yeah. Greatness won. But, okay. What do you win with? Draw. Oh, he pinned his ass. He probably doesn't have a finisher yet. Oh, he got a finisher. I'll just. I'm not sure what it is. I'll be honest with you, I was yelling so much and like getting out. Me and Jess was almost cheering for this dude. Like everybody else was booming. Like, and I hate to say this, but I'm gonna say it, it's like, it's, I bet you somebody like, why is this black guy cheering for this German? Cause that's what basically what it is. You know, he's German. Yeah. I love that shit. You know, I like that. I like to cheer for the people that nobody likes that I see that's gonna make it in this business. And I think he has a very good shot of making it in this business. He's still young. He got a lot to do. He got a lot to grow into. But I think he's there. He and you will look. see him on NXT on TV. Then you're going to be so excited when he's on TV. Shit, I will <laughs> drive where he at. And I, I'm going to make a shirt. Yeah? I'll wear a German shirt. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Rest me. Uh-oh. Oh, hey. But that's just me with him. And everybody on it. The, show, the couple shows we went to, everybody was good. Very entertaining. You know, it's like everybody we're seeing, we're going to see them like in a year or two on the main roster. Yeah. You got to see Aleister Black? Oh, Let me tell Listen, I got a Brooksy Time story time. Okay. Brian told me before we got to the show, if Aleister Black comes out, he will rage. He, he will tear the auditorium down. I'm like, this motherfucker ain't going to do shit. <laughs> I, you know what happened? I met some redneck friends, and if y'all listen, I love y'all. See y'all soon. I stood up with them, and all of a sudden, the lights went out. And you hear, you see Brian is shaking in his chair, telling his daughter to shut, you know, shut up. <laughs> and you know he bending over, looking at, looking at the tight trunk, bending over, looking at the curtain. I'm like this motherfucker about to go crazy for real. And all of a sudden, the music starts. Then all of a sudden you see Brian come up like he flexed it. I'm like, Slipknot? <laughs> Cannibal Corpse? Yeah. Brian, was that you? I'm like, this <laughs> this boy literally like if he wouldn't went if like if he wouldn't got kicked out, he would have threw every single chair. He would start a fucking mosh pit. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I get it, man. I was like I'm standing there, I'm like, Jess, you better move the fuck out of the way. Your husband about to go fucking ape shit. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been more excited to see a wrestler before. But you know what, though? Who do you face? The black dude. Velveteen Dream. That oh, match was, hey, my God. you can tell that was a main event match because they slowed it down. Mm-hmm. Because we saw Ricochet and uh, the Mexican dude. Uh, Raul Mendoza. That match right there was freaking amazing. That match was incredible. That was <laughs> awesome. And 
on top of the religious experience of seeing Alistair Black. This was Chris River Ocala. Chris, Chris River. River. We didn't go to we Ocala. Go Ocala. That's right, yeah. Uh, no earlier not. on, and actually before the, even, the show even started, he damn near ran into us. Uh, oh, we, got uh, to, we got to see uh, Ray Monroe and uh, War Raiders. I didn't even know who they were at first. Oh, I'm a... I, I think I might even be a bigger fan of Raymond Rowe outside of the ring yeah. than I am of him inside the ring. Like, I, I got my ticket, and I'm looking back at Brian and, and his fiance, right? <laughs> and also, here comes some dude with, like, blue and silver pants walking in front. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Yep. And I just see Brian standing him down. Oh, God, Brian don't. Yep, so Ray Rowe out. damn near ran into us as we're getting our tickets scanned. So when, man, when they came out, Brian has a religious experience again. Whoa! <laughs> right, this Your religious fun. experience aren't healthy. Look at that. No. <laughs> this motherfucker could have made a heavy metal uh, CD. <laughs> I've played in metal bands before. Did you talk to him? They know. No, he was like like running by. He was, he was, like, he was racing he to get was, back to the back. Oh, okay. He was scurrying. Yeah, don't do it. It would not be him. No, I almost tripped the motherfucker. That's how close I was to him. Yeah, like he, like he was inches from us. So I he, think he tried to touch my nipple. So something's still not clear to me. Did you know that it wasn't Ricochet? Yes, I knew. <laughs> I freaking knew. I had to I, get you. I've been sitting here the whole time thinking about whether or not I want to tell the story. So you might as well. Oh, tell you it. started now. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So we're sitting there, and Brooks is kind of. Motioning to behind us where the, the the little hot dog stand is, like what? And I look back, and I, I I swear I thought it was Ricochet. It's a kind of dark skinned dude, bald. I guess he's too tall from what you said. He, I, yeah, I thought it was way too tall. He had the same facial hair and everything. He, he, he didn't have no hair. No, facial hair. He did have facial hair, didn't he? Yeah, he like looked Ricochet. like a taller, he less tattooed. He looked like Ricochet stunt double. Yes. <laughs> like he needs one. Like they're going to put some like temporary tattoos on him. Yeah. Like you're going to be Ricochet for this scene. So I see it and I'm like, holy shit, that's Ricochet. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go talk to him. So I go over and I talk to him and I'm talking to him saying, you know, hey, I'm a big fan I've been a big fan of yours for a long time. And he's like, oh, no, no. And I'm like, I, I'm sorry. I know you're probably trying to stay low-key. He goes, no, I'm not Ricochet. I wonder how often <laughs> that guy gets it, though. I'm like, what? He's like, I'm Mo. I'm from Egypt. Oh. <laughs> and here's the funny <laughs> thing. While Jacob over there spewing his heart to this normal. Yeah, I look guy, over Brooke is laughing. I'm laughing my behind off. Like, I couldn't believe it worked. I'm like, holy shit. How did, how did you not not see the giant shoulder, like, top Get a shirt arms? on. No, he didn't. Also, has a bald head. <laughs> His facial structure looked just like Ricochet's. Like, he did that. look like a he I looked him that so much like Ricochet. And I think it was just because Brooks was like, that's Ricochet. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I had to get you. I had oh, to get my you. God. I'm sorry. But I got to meet Cassius Odo. Earlier in yes. the day, I got to spill my heart out to him. <laughs> did you spill more? Oh, yeah, I almost did. <laughs> so, and we got to meet Jason. Um, I um, can't remember the the chick's name, but she's from Ninja Warrior because we saw her on Ninja Warrior when we went out to dinner that after. Girl at, that girl at 4 Kaylee? Kylie? 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 Kylie Cute. Cute. That's what I'm going to call her, Kylie Cute. <laughs> That girl. Well, she is like she, three foot nothing. That she is super, super little. That bitch freaking climbed the damn pole. She did. She just climbed the outside of the turnbuckle. It's like I want to play on the Apes Girls Edition. <laughs> and then, yeah, Cash is Ono, which when we were next in line, and it was really cool because my daughter saw that they were signing their names, and she said she told Cash that she knew how to write her name. So Cassius Ono gave her, her his Sharpie and had her sign the autograph sheet as well. Your daughter was like, what you're doing isn't impressive. I can do that too. Yeah, well, <laughs> she basically yeah, called him out like, I can write my name. And what are you idiots doing? I can do this too. She's like, yeah, I know yeah. how to write my name too. Didn't so, Jacob, you almost like gave that dude a concussion or something? I, yeah. Oh my God. So I went to go do the whole elbow pose with him with Just my left arm. That was Jacob, not Jeremy. Thank you. 
And then he switched to the right arm, so I went to go do it as well, and I was putting my left hand down, my knuckle scraped him on the back back of the head. And he was saying, are you trying to take me out before my match? The hardest Whoops. dude. Who did he face? The dude with the pretty hair. Dude, oh. Kona? Kona Reeves? The one that was talking to the girls in front of us, talking about my hair is running worse. Yeah, Kona like Reeves. Who did Ricochet face? Oh, that, Lars. Like, what yeah. the hell was that? Yeah, so we we saw Ricochet versus Lars Ulrich, and it ended with disqualification because I don't remember because Lars, Lars pushed the referee out of the ring. Was it out of the ring? I thought no, he just pushed him. No, he pushed him, and the referee I like it was like a satanic godly thing. He like starts yeah. spazzing out like crazy. He acted like Lars like slammed him or something. Yeah, like he. Low blow his ass. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm looking like, this is dumb. Yeah, so Rick shit came out and did his no. finishers and stuff like that. Yeah, and that's the thing. We did get to see a cool spot with Ricochet. Yeah. He, he, tur- he uh, dropped, kicked Lars to save him from because he was trying to kill the ref. Yeah. And we got to see Shooting Star Press. It was a cool spot, but I don't understand why the hell. It must I have just been for wish, time. I wish that the match he had with that Mexican guy, I wish he would have did it that night. Yeah. They would have, Citrus Springs would have been crazy. It's like, he did a move, he did a better move. Then he did a better move, then he did were a there, better move. Were there more people in Chris the River? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah it River. was so packed. It was, you have to stand up. I feel like Chris the River is always packed. Citrus Springs is sometimes really. packed. I've been to, I don't know, 50 wrestling shows at NXT, the Armory. I mean. I mean, just in general. Yeah. I've been to about 50 wrestling shows at the Chris River Armory, if not more. I have never had to park on the grass. We parked on the grass. It's there like was before we no got there, we, parking we spaces. Park. It could have been almost sold out then. Uh, it had to because every seat was filled. Every it was so loud in that, that, that freaking thing. It was, it was, it was like we had a man, uh, uh, like Raw smack that. Damn. I have never seen that many people in that building. It, that, we made that show better. I had to say the fans. The, we, the Crystal like, River crowd is great. Like we made like from the guy on a, like always yelling at people instead of the boy to do. Yeah. He already getting shit started to me yelling at Germany talking about this is how we do it in the hood. Yeah. To freaking Brian going d- demonic Alistair Black shit and all that stuff. Yeah, Was man, Bailey's possessed. best friend there. Uh, I haven't seen her in a while. I haven't either. What am I They're on about? tour. <laughs> They're yeah. on tour with them. But no, like I haven't. Like I've seen. So many things in that little auditorium, little uh, armory, and just it's Chris River always has the best crowds. <clears throat> like when FIP used to come here, I would buy their DVDs from their other shows in like Bushnell, C- Sebring, Ocala, and literally the Crystal River crowd. Like they would come out, and you know, the heels would be like, oh, Crystal Meth River. And I'll never forget that. Yeah, they ain't lying. And then, uh, oh, yeah, definitely not. Yeah, definitely not. And then uh, the, the faces would come out and be like, oh, yeah, Crest the River's the best crowd. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, they're they're doing their job. They're Man, kind of to us. But then I would go back and I would watch from, like, Brooksville and uh, Spring Hill and all these other places. And, no, Crystal River's crowd was always <laughs> off the chain. You need to bust out some of those DVDs. I know exactly where they're at. They're Maybe they just for like an Instagram picture or something to show people. Because you've talked about oh, DVDs a bunch of times. I've got a box full of them. A giant box. I, I probably have hundreds and hundreds of dollars of wrestling <laughs> DVDs. I'd like to watch some of them. I've got a ton of PWG DVDs. I didn't go to the shows, but... Mm-hmm. I tried to buy a, the DVD from every show I went to. Yeah. And I'm missing... Because I let someone borrow it and I never fucking NXT got it back. should do that. <laughs> They That'd it. be cool, yeah. Man, never mind. I'd buy it. Everybody would buy it, but ain't never gonna happen. Yeah. And FIP, they just don't do shows very they do, often. So, yeah, so they do sometimes. Yeah, they're at in Ebor and they're like at bars. It's yeah. just not the same. Well, you guys got anything else to add? Uh, Any other things that happened at the NXT show? Um. The hot dogs are really good. 
They were really fucking good. They smell really good. I didn't have one. It was, I almost they had, had way to. better. They were way better than they had any right to be. I did the <laughs> buns were grilled. The dogs were grilled. You got a hot dog, chips, and a drink for like three bucks. Yeah. Like, fuck with dogs. I thought they were just going to be microwaved or something. No, that bitch was on the goddamn flat yeah. man. That thing was good. I wanted and to they had Cracker Jacks. <laughs> they didn't, almost didn't pay for mine. Don't say that loud. <laughs> oh, I went yeah. back and paid for it. And then they rushed me out and I ate my food and I was like, wait, did I pay? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it happens. But yeah, they, and they even yelled at me when I got back up there. And I was like, I'm trying to pay. <laughs> like, no, that's okay. <laughs> and I had to take money from Brooks because yeah. I had no cash. I paid for Jacob's food. Okay, I paid for your drink later. <laughs> you did. We're good. Fucking diabetes. <laughs> oh, Don't ever go to cash. Applebee's when they do a karaoke. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. We saw... The American Ninja Warrior girl on yeah. Ninja Warrior at Applebee's after the show. Yeah. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. And yeah. I remember I think Brooks was like, it's that girl, it's that girl. And there's girls sitting down by that TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was already done and out of it. Because, you know, you want to go to a restaurant to have a good time, eat with your family. And I hear somebody okay, saying okay. rat shit. Oh, you know, it's my like, God. We sit down and it's like, I told you guys we were walking in. And I'm like, it's karaoke, it's karaoke, it's karaoke. I'm following Brian. I'm sorry. Yeah. I just didn't want to believe it. And then we sat down right by the karaoke machine. I just stared a hole in the Brian. I just started <laughs> screaming. You <laughs> did. <laughs> you were like, oh my god, this is awful. I just laughed at the bitch. I mean, yeah. the lady. Oh my god, that pretty was pretty much walked out. <laughs> we sat outside. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah, it was really nice. So, uh, yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and on that note. <laughs> Alright, so we need to evacuate the room. So thank you for listening, guys. This has been the Future Heels Podcast. <laughs> you are disgusting. I need to go home. <laughs> you do. Go home, Brooks. I'm going. Uh, you can find... Okay. Where can they find you, Brooks, so you can get out of here? Huh? Where, where can they find you? On Twitter, Instagram? <laughs> Twitter, jbrooks42, uh, Instagram, oh, jbrooks. No, Twitter, jerrybrooks42, Instagram, jbrooks42. You can probably find my grandma bathroom that I'm about to go murder right now. <laughs> yeah, don't murder Brian's bathroom. No, I can't do that, Brian. <laughs> where can they find you, Brian? Uh, on Twitter, at Brian25, or on Instagram, Brian1138. See you faster. <sighs> Huh? Do it. Oh, crap. Uh, on Twitter, at Brian25 or Instagram, Brian25. <laughs> you can find me on tw- Twitter at Best in the Realm, Facebook Best in the Realm Gaming, YouTube Best in the Realm, Twitch.tv slash Best in the Realm. Best in the Realm.com is still a thing. This redirects to futurevillains.com. Uh, but that's where you can find all of this content. You can find it on YouTube under Future Villains. You can find us on Twitter at Future Villains, Facebook Future Villains. Uh, we're on iTunes and we're on. Uh, YouTube, and you can find all this content plus all the LARP stuff that LARP Brothers here are up to. Right? The LARP Ooh. Brothers. I don't know if it's the LARP Brothers, Super LARP Brothers, LARP Bros. Like, <laughs> all the above. Uh, LARP Brothers. It's the LARP Brothers. You can find all that stuff on futurevillains.com. That's F E W T R U E V I L L A I N S dot com. Like this podcast, subscribe Hit the first to button, it, Brooks. share it. Please, so we can get this podcast out. We know you guys love it. We got a consistent listener base. So share it. Try and get it out there so we can do bigger, better shows. So we can be live. <laughs> and how far is for Joe Rogan pussy? We got him. <laughs>